Season 3 is going to change Call of Duty as we know it. Upcoming in this video, we're going to be going through the patch notes from start to finish, covering everything from the Warzone changes to the new operators, the new battle pass, which actually sounds crazy, new multiplayer maps. I mean, we're, there's just so much to cover. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty guys, now that we're in the patch notes, we have a lot to get over. The first thing that we do see is going to be the roadmap. Um, basically giving you a breakdown, really simple, of everything that we're going to be seeing and going over. There's a lot more uh, to this patch note and to Season 3 than what they're showing here. So we're just going to go ahead and read it instead of just looking at everything here. Uh, it's a lot better and you get a lot more detail doing it uh, through the patch notes. But to start off, we're going to be getting a gunfight back. So gunfight, if you don't know, from Modern Warfare 2019, it's a 2v2 mode, uh, round base where it's basically one of the most competitive uh, modes that we can play. It's, like I said, 2v2, small maps, multiple rounds, a really fast action, really fast pace. I hope we somehow get something like this ranked in the future, um, although I, I doubt it for now. I'm kind of just glad to have it back. Uh, apart from that, we are getting three brand new uh, 6v6 multiplayer maps. Uh, we're going to be seeing those later on in the patch notes, as well as two brand new uh, large scale maps. So you're talking your invasion and your ground war. Uh, one of those is actually a night mode or night vision. That's something brand new they're adding to uh, this season. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's also down in the patch notes. We're going to get into that a little more, um, as well as some new spec op missions. So if you're into co-op, that's definitely something to look forward to and a brand new raid episode. Uh, but yeah, so to start with, so as we were saying earlier, Gunfight is returning. Uh, as I said before, it's a small 2v2 of highly competitive small map. I believe there's six rounds total. Um, apart from that, I don't think the game mode changes much from 2019. We're just not gonna be seeing it introduced with obviously all the guns, the mechanics, and everything to do with Modern Warfare 2. Apart from that, we are including uh, a new map rotation. So we have a new map called Alley, which is somewhere in the Almazer region. And it, they say it's a small marketplace. So I'm assuming this is a smaller type map, maybe something similar to shipment or something in that range is what I'm assuming. Um, apart from that, we also have Black Sight coming in, which is gonna be the brand new Warzone 2 Gulag, which I'm very excited for. Uh, but this is also gonna be a gunfight map. So this is definitely something to look out for. Uh, something to definitely play around and check it out because it's going to be very important, especially for that Warzone 2 rank that we're going to be talking about later. Apart from that, shipment's obviously coming back in. Um, not sure what this is for. It says, in addition, to another gunfight locale. So this might be coming into gunfight. So definitely looking forward to that. Our shipment been around since forever, since 2007. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that in gunfight. Apart from that, we're also going to be getting gunfight OSP which is uh, on-site procurement. It's basically just a variant of the traditional mode where we're gonna be having to grab the weapons on the floor instead of actually spawning in with them. Um, think of it as that really old uh, Modern Warfare, original Modern Warfare 2 game mode where you pick up guns around the map, but it's gonna be on those smaller gunfight maps. So definitely looking forward to this. Uh, probably won't be playing this as much because I'm more of a competitive player as you see in my other videos. So I'll probably be playing gunfight a lot more, hoping for a rank mode in that, but you never know. Um, apart from that, we are getting three brand new multiplayer maps and the two uh, larger scale maps in Ground War and in Invasion. So the first map we're getting is Pelia Peliaio's Lighthouse. So it's going to be a core map. Looks pretty nice. Looks like one of those medium sized maps. Uh, three lanes with an indoor area. We probably have a smaller uh, outer house that we can also go into. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Looks kind of interesting. If you can definitely get up here and snipe. Uh, maybe they'll add it later on into Warzone, who knows. Uh, secondly, we have a map called Black Gold, which is going to be basically looks similar to kind of like Rohan Oil. Um, but this is going to be the very first night mode map, which is something I'm very excited for. Uh, it's basically going to be uh, a nighttime map. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing really much more than that. Uh, we're going to be basically fully night vision. Everybody's going to be using thermals and uh, using really good uh, laser sights, maybe something of that nature. Um, not sure how it'll look without the night goggles, if you can turn them on and off. That's definitely something to maybe check out. Um, but yeah, definitely excited for this. Uh, glad to see they're kind of changing a multiplayer um, and giving us some new things to work with. Apart from that, we're going to be getting Rohan Oil as a brand new ground war and invasion map. 
which I'm definitely looking forward to. I think this is one of the most intricate kind of areas to be playing around in in Warzone, so kind of happy that they brought this out. Uh, I don't really play much around where I play it more with my friends, kind of just chilling, so uh, I think this is a good addition. I think I like the changes that they're making with this, how they're adding these new maps. The other map, which I'm even more excited for, is the Satik Cave Complex in Al Masra, which is going to be bringing Afghan to Ground War and to Evasion. So this right here is probably going to be something I'm playing a lot more, uh, especially if I can get into that map. Apart from that, we're also getting a brand new map that we haven't seen before, which is going to be Alborn Hatchery, which is going to be coming mid-season. It's not going to be coming out at the start of Season 3. Everything else we said is coming out start of Season 3. This is going to be coming in in mid-season. And again, it looks like a pretty cool map. I believe up here is the lighthouse area that we just saw uh, at the beginning up here. So maybe this is like a complete separate addition to Warzone. Maybe a look at at the new map that we might be getting in Season 4, Season 5. Um, but yeah, so this looks this looks like something to look forward to. I'm kind of happy with the, the multiplayer changes. I'm happy that they're adding new maps and giving us a little bit of a change. Alrighty guys, continuing on with multiplayer, we're going to be seeing three new modes coming on as well. It's going to be Crank, Face Off, and Gun War. Gun War. Ground War Infected, I'm sorry. Uh, Crank, if you don't know, it's an old mode from uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, it's one, probably one of my favorite modes that I played just playing casual multiplayer. Basically, every kill you get, uh, you start speeding up and you start playing a lot faster and faster and faster up until I think it's like five or six kills. Uh, where basically you're running around the map like you're for the flash or something and uh, you basically go up until a certain pointage and win the game. Uh, definitely a great mode. I'm definitely looking forward to playing it, especially with the new maps and everything we talked about earlier. Apart from that, we will also be getting uh, Face Off, which is a 3v3 mode similar to Gunfight, but I believe that uh, it's more of a TDM. There's not a, there's not a point system or anything in place. It's more like core uh, core modes that you're going to be playing, but just in a smaller uh, smaller maps and smaller team sizes. So it's a little bit more competitive. I think I'm going to enjoy playing this as well. Apart from that, a big change, which I've never seen in any game uh, that Call of Duty has come out with, which is going to be Ground War Infected. Uh, Ground War Infected, I think, might be one of the craziest things, because just seeing from this picture alone, we're going to be able to get into the vehicles, which is going to be absolutely crazy. When you have 50 people chasing after you, and you're just driving around, shooting everybody like it's a zombie apocalypse or something. So definitely looking forward to this. Um, definitely going to be playing a lot of that. Apart from that, we also have new multiplayer ranked rewards. Uh, we're taking basically a basic look at the charms that we're going to be getting. Um, and looking at the actual background of all this, it looks like we also might be getting new hoodies, potentially with that kind of design on them. Uh, so definitely looking forward to this. Um, I love what they did with Ranked in Season 2. And definitely looking forward to playing Season 3 and seeing what new rewards they got for us. Uh, they basically give you a basic rundown of the win rewards. So... Five wins will give us a sticker. Ten wins will give us this tag blueprint, I believe. Uh, with 25 wins, you get this top dog emblem. And then you keep getting a typical, typable uh, weapon vinyl, a loading screen. Then you get the ranked play veteran camo. I believe the one that they're using on the tag. I would have to double check once season three comes out, but it's most likely this one. Apart from that, we are gonna be getting the season two rank rewards at the beginning of season three so look forward to that i hit crimson and i think that's as far as i'm getting in these last few days so i'm happy with my rewards and i'm definitely uh looking forward to where i get in season three all right continuing on with the patch notes we are getting a confirmed mid-season map which we showed up above we're also going to be getting a new spec op mission and raid season three uh so by the looks of it it looks like we're just continuing the story for season three um and you can play the first two raid episodes to kind of go in order of how it's going. I uh, don't really give you much more information other than that. Apart from that, we're getting into the juicy stuff now. So, Warzone 2. So, a lot of changes are coming to Warzone 2 and to DMZ. Um, we're basically gonna be getting, <laughs> as I was saying earlier, big changes. Uh, so, Resurgence is coming to Al Mazara. So, it's basically massively big map. But we're gonna be having everybody coming back playing kind of like it was Ashika. So 
I'm definitely looking forward to this. Uh, I believe we're gonna be ha we're gonna be able to jump in solo duo, trio, and quads. I'm not sure if they're gonna change that, but it's something definitely to look forward to. I definitely like that they're adding the second map. It's gonna be known as Massive Resurgence. So <laughs> I, I don't even know what to think about this. It. It's so crazy that I'm I'm just like stumbling my words right now. We're also getting plunder. I fucking like thank God somebody that somebody's listening. You know, like plunder was one of the chillest, most like fun modes that I played in uh, Modern Warfare 2019. I didn't really play Warzone to sweat. I didn't really play Warzone to like go crazy or do anything like that. I just loved playing Plunder because you can drop in, kill a bunch of people, get a bunch of money, get out, go again. There's you don't take it serious. So definitely looking forward to playing this. Probably gonna be dropping videos on it and everything. Uh, but yeah, we're getting back a Plunder. Apart from that, as I was saying earlier in the gunfight section. We are getting the new Gulag in Almazra. It's gonna be this like broken shipyard area. Um, definitely looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a great addition, especially. I like that they're changing Gulags every every season. Something very good and something just to keep things fresh. Apart from that, we're also getting a new Dark Rituals 2 operator bundle. It's gonna be this guy right here. It's I know it's lower, but I noticed it earlier and this guy just like looks fucking sick, not gonna lie. Looks like there's going to be attack 56, a weapon blueprint, and maybe a knife as well, so definitely looking forward to that. Um, apart from that, we're getting re redeploy drones in Almazra. This is kind of dope. Kind of like this. It's like the balloons in Apex. Fucking love it. We're getting tempered plate carriers. So if I'm not mistaken, this right here is going to be uh, similar to the Modern Warfare 2019, where instead of having all three plates and you're putting all three plates, now you're only going to have to put two plates, meaning Get into fights quicker. It's just gonna speed up the game. Cause right now, Warzone, it feels you're moving at like snail's pace. You're not really moving. You're not doing much half the time. Then when you do get into a gunfight, you die so quickly that it doesn't really matter. And with two plates and a tempered plate carrier, I mean, this is gonna literally change Warzone as we know. Apart from that, we're also seeing UAV towers. So if you don't know what a UAV tower uh, is and you haven't played DMZ at all, it's basically a spot on the map where you can go in and you get a UAV I believe it's 30, 15 to 30 seconds. This right here is gonna absolutely change Warzone. People are gonna be fighting over this. People are gonna be going like absolutely crazy around these areas just to try and take control of this. Cause if you don't, you're most likely gonna lose if you're in that area. People are gonna be chasing you down. It's just absolute chaos. And I love it because this means less people are gonna be able to rat and you're just gonna be making more effective like combat in that area. <laughs> so definitely looking forward to this. Apart from that, we are going to be getting perk package items in season, so we're going to be able to change uh, perk packages and we're going to be getting new things to the perk packages in Warzone. So definitely looking forward to that. We're going to be also getting deployable buy stations mid-season. Again, great addition. I don't want to be going halfway across the map, especially towards the end of the zone to try and get somebody up or try and buy plates or whatever the stupid, stupid thing might be at the time. Apart from that, we're also getting something new which I've never seen it's a gulag entry kit. I read over it a little bit and basically I believe whenever you die the first time and you come back, you can pick up an item which is called a gulag entry kit, which is gonna allow you to go back into the gulag after you've already been in. Like this is actually, <laughs> it, it's insane. I like, you're gonna be more, more times you can redeploy. Uh, it's just gonna make the game that much better. I, I think this is a great addition, honestly. Uh, apart from that, we're also getting a brand new DMZ overhaul system, which it's honestly could be its own video. DMZ is absolutely changing in every which way, and I'm all for it. So we're going to go over the DMZ changes slightly quickly because uh, we don't really play too much DMZ here. Uh, we are going to be playing a little bit of Warzone later on, but we haven't done videos on that just yet. But all right. So for DMZ, we're going to be getting a barter system, which basically we're going to be able to go to traders um and trade the items that you get in dmz which that'd be pretty cool it says that you're gonna have items uh they will have items that you always need so I'm not sure what that means it might be like keys or something of that nature pretty interesting pretty cool we're also getting a workbench now this is kind of crazy so all those contraband weapons you pick up that have weird ass attachments or have no attachments at all half the time you're able to go to these workbenches and basically pay a little bit of money that you get in game and are able to add attachments, add basically anything you want to the gun and modify it in game. 
Apart from that, this is, <laughs> this right here, this, I, wow. They're adding what is known as active duty operating slots. What this is gonna do is basically you're gonna have four or five, or I'm sorry, you're gonna have, you're gonna start with three profiles of three different operators that you're gonna be able to select and choose whenever you go into a DMZ game. So if you have one guy that's like fully kitted, three play, big backpack, uh, gas mask, self revive, everything, and you don't wanna take him in just to do some like mediocre mission and uh, run the risk of like losing that, you can just take a guy who's fully naked, just one play, shitty backpack, do your mission, come back out, get it done. And then whenever you wanna run with your friends again, you go onto that loaded operator and just go in and wreak havoc. So definitely love this change. I think it's gonna be absolutely insane. Definitely agree that they should have done something like this. And I'm loving the direction that this is going. Apart from that, we're also getting a brand new faction, as well as new missions. So as much as I don't even play DMZ, I'm even excited for this. Like new missions, more content. Like what can you not love about this? Um, apart from that, we're also, I believe getting new backpacks uh, that they don't show here, but we're getting new tiers of backpacks. Uh, not sure if they're like just skins or if they're bigger and just better. You might be getting like weirdly shaped ones, something in between medium and large, and some, maybe something between small and medium. Uh, not too sure about that. I believe they do say a little bit more under. So we are getting World Series of Warzone back. Um, I really didn't see this at all, but I believe it's something like the World Cup for Fortnite. Uh, not too sure, but I'll probably be watching this. I don't lie. Now, Warzone rank play. This right here, this, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna be playing a lot of. Uh, so it looks like it's coming mid season or later on in season three, which is not the best. I would have liked to see it at the start of the season, but you don't always get what you want. But um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be running the same exact rank play uh, as rank play, where it's like bronze through top 250. So definitely looking forward to that and looking forward to what we see. And from what I, from what I noticed right now, I'm sorry, is we're gonna be getting trios only, which is gonna be absolutely insane. So trios, wars on rank, fucking A plus, 100%, like fucking pop the confetti, love it. Uh, apart from that, some general overview, we're gonna be getting Alejandro and Valeria. Uh, if you don't know them from the uh, campaign, uh, it's the Mexican Special Forces and the Mexican Assassin. Uh, definitely looking forward to playing these two people. Uh, this operator looks fucking dope. Probably will be buying that. Um, apart from that, it looks like we're getting some other operators, but they're gonna be coming uh, later on in the season. They don't really give us a lot of info on that. Now this, I made a video on this earlier uh, this week. We are getting the intervention back from Modern Warfare 2. So fucking hooray. They're bringing back everything that was correct in those games and they're just bringing it back and making it just that much better. So absolutely stoked on that. We're also getting the Cronin Squall, which looks like an MCR uh, from, from Tarkov, if you don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like a semi-auto rifle, so Maybe something to the range of a battle rifle or a attack rifle. So looks pretty good. I like it. We're also getting two new sidearms, which they don't show here, but they we are going to be getting something like a Tech 9 as well. I know that. Um, and here we go. So this is a new event. It's called Trophy Hunt. So Trophy Hunt is going to begin 48, 48 hours after launch. Uh, during this event, every player will be dropping a trophy such as a challenge coin where they are limited in any mode uh, and the trophies can be earned and used for supplying or used for opening supply boxes. Okay. Uh, trophies can also be exchanged for items in the events tab, including weapon blueprints, vehicle skins, and battle pass tier skips. Okay. And then people who redeem enough items will also get some exclusive operator skins. Okay. So that, that's kind of, that's kind of dope. I'm liking that. That's that's something sick because you can actually like go into these modes and they're rewarding you for actually playing. So definitely looking forward to that. That that's something interesting that I'm definitely gonna have to uh, look into as soon as season three drops. Continuing on, we're also getting a brand new premium battle pass, uh, which is gonna be known as Black Cell. So Black Cell is gonna be thirty dollars. So it's a little expensive, but we're gonna be able to get all of this right here 
uh, for $30 along with the Battle Pass. So first off, we're getting basically an upgraded Battle Pass. So you're gonna have the full uh, Season 3 Battle Pass already available as well as 20 tier skips. We're also getting 1,100 COD points immediately. So I believe that's a $10 pack. Uh, we're gonna be getting the 1,400 COD points in the Battle Pass already. So alone on the 2,500 COD points, you're basically getting half your money back. So already looking like a good, like a good deal. Apart from that, you're gonna be getting an exclusive Black Cell Operator uh, that is animated. So that's something to look forward to. But we're also getting a weapon blueprint, vehicle skin, and finishing move. Also with something similar to that uh, Operator skin, I believe. Um, and then apart from that, we're also gonna be getting its own Black Cell uh, sex shirt, uh, sex section. Um, and it's gonna be another available starting point from the Battle Pass. But from that area, you also unlock the two around it. Apart from that, with the Black Cell only Battle Pass, we're gonna be getting an extra Operator skin for each Operator skin in the Battle Pass. So they say there's gonna be 12 total skins uh, to unlock with this. So it's just value upon value. So I, I think it's something great that they're adding. Apart from that, the Battle Pass is also gonna have op automatic pathing, meaning whatever you wanna do, you just put it and it'll start as you accumulate Battle Pass tokens, you're gonna be able to unlock certain areas. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. We get a new look at some of the prestige levels and some of the challenges uh, in those prestiges. Uh, Discord is now integrated with PC. So now you can uh, basically invite people in Discord straight into your Call of Duty games. And I believe that's it. We're gonna be getting uh, some patch notes next week, but that looks like the basic roadmap and some basic knowledge that they're giving us for season three, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, and as always, make sure to subscribe, like, hit the notifications button uh, for all things Call of Duty. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.